welcome back to my channel it's Shantae's way here today and today I'm going to be giving you guys the scoop <laughs> the scoop oh right now I have my strawberry watermelon and peaches and pineapple smoothie there's a lot going on but today I'm gonna to be giving you guys some tips on how to live a more um, cleaner lifestyle I got a request to do this video long ago and then you guys voted on my poll for me to do this video so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this video I have a couple of notes on my phone The first thing I want to mention is that when you live a more healthier, cleaner life, a lot of people say, oh, what's the point? It's not that big of a deal. Um, I can eat what I want to eat. Yes, that's all of those are true, that it is not, there is no point. What's the big deal? And you can eat what you want to eat if you think like that. So if you think like that and that's how your mindset is, then that's definitely true for you. But when you really, really tear down your mindset and see why it is that you feel that way and you actually draw back and say, okay, well, it kind of is important because I want my sleep to be better or it is important because I want to be happier and you realize that everything that you do around and to your body is affecting you. Once you change your mindset and you open yourself up to knowing a little bit more about that you'll realize that it actually is very important it is a big deal to make sure that you have a pretty non-toxic lifestyle so i know a lot of people like to say oh you know when you're young you can eat whatever you want and then when you get older is when you want to start changing your lifestyle well for me it wasn't like that as a younger person <laughs> i will admit that i started to change my lifestyle pretty early in my life so right now i am 26 and i started living a more non-toxic lifestyle i started first when i was like age 20. when i started i said okay I'm really tired every morning. I used to work at a bank and when I would get up early in the morning to go to work, it would just feel so draggy. I'd be like, oh, I hate my life. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like walking. I'd be like, oh, I hate my life. And I worked at the bank and when I was 18 and I worked there for two years and then I realized, I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm going to change something because I don't understand why I'm just so tired all the time. I don't understand why I'm so upset. I don't like the job that I'm at and this is just horrible. The thing is, is that a lot of us don't grow up that way. So when it's time to like switch it over or when we feel drawn to go to a healthier lifestyle, we don't know where to start. So I will just share my journey and how I did it. And then you guys can take away from that because honestly there's really no right way to start it's just that you need to start that's like the most important thing so it's okay if you are starting out early i've noticed that as I'm getting older I'm seeing even younger people start to ask more questions and be more healthier and I think it's because we are no longer as humans especially my age and millenniums we I feel can't really take toxins like that like we are so much into like being healthier not to say that people who are older are not into being healthier because I feel like that we're all going forward as entire like world is just going forward and not taking um, toxins as much as they used to or tolerating it as much, much as they used to something clicked in me and was like okay you need to stop drinking soda so I stopped drinking soda my face also was starting to get very very fat um, it was just getting really big and I found that when I stopped drinking the soda I would get up every morning and drink lemon water I would cut up lemons put in my water, go to work, and I would take it to work like I was bringing in tea. So every single morning, I would take lemon water to, to work. And I will say that this mainly started when I started to change my hair. So I feel that my natural hair led me to research more. So because when I was researching my natural hair, I would see like, oh, you can't put toxins in your hair or your hair is not going to, you know, when I was going through transition, it's not going to do right or your curls are not going to come back to life. So it's better to go a more natural route. And my 
thinking was, okay, well, if this is working for my hair, then that must mean that I have to do the same thing to my body as well. Because if my hair can't tolerate toxins, then my body can't either. And that's just how I kind of like, like put them together. So I started small and I always suggest that anyone else that is starting to start small and reduce something that's kind of a big deal in your life. So I was drinking soda a lot. Every single time I would get like a meal or something, I would have like soda or I have like artificial ju juice with, to drink with it. I didn't drink much water. So that was the best thing for me to do at that moment. To me, I feel like that anything that has a bunch of stuff that you can't even read or is not natural, it has artificial flavoring, it has red dye in it and all that, I personally say to stay away from because that is what um, triggers like certain things in your body and it goes deep. There are certain chemicals that can even trigger you to be sad. like. It goes very deep. So when I started to research and as I seen that the water, the water that I was drinking every morning, the lemon water was starting to change um, the way I felt in the morning, I wanted to go even harder. So when I decided that, oh, this water is working, so I'm going to start changing what I eat. So with my cleaner diet, I noticed that my stomach wasn't as bloated and I didn't feel as tired when I finished eating my food. So at first I would just, you know, eat whatever I wanted to, eat McDonald's and stuff like that. And I, and I totally cut out fast food. Um, so I would start to eat cleaner as far as just eating like baked chicken and, you know, more vegetables. And then as I researched more, I was realizing that um, even the foods that I thought were clean weren't actually clean. So I'm gonna recommend some of the documentaries that I watched that actually changed my life. So the first documentary that I watched that actually did change my life was Forks Over Knives. And I watched that and it did help me. I watched it with my boyfriend. It didn't really do much to him, but to me, I was ready to change anyways. Like I said in the beginning, when you're open to change um, and you accept things, it becomes when you, you know, receive the information, it becomes more beneficial to you rather than you being kind of closed minded and not wanting to do it anyways, then the information doesn't transmit to you as well. I also watched Fed Up. Um, I watched Hungry for Change, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead, GMO, OMG. That's a really good one because that one taught me all about GMOs. When I watched that, uh, that documentary, I noticed that we were actually getting a lot of chemicals put in our food which we weren't even aware of so when it comes to fruits and vegetables um, they can be GMO as well so watch out for GMO the next one that I watched was food ink that one was really good it really did um, make me nauseous and that's what made me not want to eat meat anymore and um, at the time and I also watched fat sick and nearly dead too so this is when fat sick and nearly dead one is when the guy actually was overweight and he had all these health problems and fat and sick fat sick and nearly dead too is when he actually goes around helping people and tells them his story there was another documentary that I watched where there was an older lady on it I cannot remember the exact name of it. I also want to recommend Simply Raw, which is a team that went out and helped people reverse diabetes within 30 days of them eating only raw foods. So that documentary also was very um, life changing for me because it showed me the power of fruits and vegetables. But you definitely want to watch videos and educate yourself and research so that when you are on your diet you can always think back to things that were taught to you um, one thing i want to mention is that once you realize the power of natural foods and living more natural you realize that god provided pretty much everything we need here on earth and it's kind of messed up the way that um you know companies try to put a price tag on everything they try to make you believe that you need you need them to survive when in reality 
To me, I feel that herbs, fruits, and vegetables are all the medicine that you need. Um, you can take herbs and make them into veg make them into um, medications and stuff. But a lot of pharmacies and companies don't want a lot of people knowing that. But once you figure out on your own and you go and kind of research yourself, you will realize that that food is 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 your is your life and that's why you need to kind of make sure that you pick and choose well because that can determine if you are going to be happy and healthy or sick and not healthy after i cleaned up my diet i went from um eating meats, fruits, and vegetables, and trying to keep that very clean. And then I tried to do a vegetarian diet, and I said for 30 days I'm gonna go into a vegetarian diet. I went on a vegetarian diet. In that 30 days, I was watching those documentaries that I mentioned to you guys, and after 30 days, I decided that I was gonna go vegan. So, I'd never like to put a like stamp on things but the thing is is people kept saying are you vegan are you vegan so i was like okay i'm vegan okay i don't eat meat i don't eat cheese i don't eat dairy i don't eat anything like that and i was like vegan strict vegan oh my god i was strict vegan for um and all the way up until i went to health coaching school when i went to health coaching school i got in touch with a lot of speakers a lot of health coaches a lot of people who have been studying holistic health for years and i i went to a lot of their um well i heard a lot of their their ceremonies i heard a lot of their um uh, speeches and there was one that literally changed my way of thinking forever and this is the most logical stands on life i've ever heard so what i've seen in her speech she did like an hour like ted talk and she talked about eating with your intuition so she said that everything in life that you do needs to be done with your intuition so she said that like when you're making decisions when you're going through life because she says that your intuition is your direct link to god so she said that in your life if you follow your intuition with what you do in your life, your life is going to be based, customized to you. So with that being said, I had listened to that. I listened to her um, talk twice. The first time I, I heard it, I was like, okay, I, I understand that. I came back after hearing a bunch of other talks that we had um, with our in my classes and I went back to her talk and I understood it even more and with that being said I feel that the next tip should be is to um, Follow your intuition when it comes to eating a lot of times your body knows exactly what it what it needs And that's what you should be listening to so sometimes my body says okay um, I need a bunch of fruits and vegetables today. Don't plan on eating anything else because I need fruits and vegetables and also don't drink juice today and you know that because maybe your throat's so scratchy like maybe you have a dry throat or maybe your head's like hurting so bad if you feel if you feel under the weather if you feel sick then the last thing you need to do is go and eat like a, a meal from mcdonald's you know that that is not going to nourish your body your body's asking for nutrients if you're feeling sick or if you're neck is feeling very dry or you know you have swollen lip no i don't know like something like that you want to listen to your body and you don't want to hear everything by saying okay i'm gonna go get some advil or try the more natural route by saying okay i'm going to I'm going to take this entire week to do like a cleanse and I'm going to eat only raw foods for this entire week or I'm going to get like raw um, herbal teas to drink for this entire week and I'll see if it makes a difference. And if it makes a difference, great. If it doesn't, then maybe you can go to the, to the doctor and see what's wrong or maybe you can just get, maybe you need to rest. Maybe you need to just like lay back and chill. that using your intuition to eat over any diet any lifestyle is is best so if your lifestyle is telling you you should be a vegan okay do that but then when your lifestyle says okay now I don't want you to be vegan anymore now I want you to eat a little bit of protein just a little bit like every now and then eat chicken 
every now and then eat turkey then do that but you don't want to get into a box and i see a whole lot of people um they get into a little box they're like okay well since i said that i was vegan i had to stay vegan for the rest of my life or oh since i said that i hate vegans now i can't go vegan now that i'm thinking a little different you have the ability to change and your body is always changing so one mistake that people make when they go into an organic lifestyle or a non-toxic lifestyle is the fact that they go into this lifestyle they research they research they find out everything and then they think that they know everything and the thing is, is that none of us know everything and we're always learning and we're always flipping and saying we're always relearning what we knew from the beginning so or what what was supposed to be right in from the beginning anyways so the best thing to do is to be like I'm just doing what I need to do for this moment so at this moment I'm a vegan <laughs> but then to like two four years later I'm not a vegan and then two and three more years later after that I'm vegan again so it's really just up to you and what your body's feeling sometimes your body is going to want you to eat more fruits and vegetables sometimes your body is going to want you to get some protein when you first come into like like I said an organic lifestyle or a non-toxic lifestyle you want to tell everybody what to do and I I was like that. I feel like with health coaching school was like that was like the best thing that I could have ever done for myself um, with getting a certificate in health coaching and going through all those seminars and learning everything through the ceremonies and stuff because then I got so many different perspectives they allow you to get so many different perspectives from professionals and people who have been studying and doing this for so long and it kind of opens up your minds to a whole bunch of different things so now instead of me being stuck on one thing which can sort of people can be vegan and sick people can be eating green smoothies and going to yoga every day and still be depressed and the reason why is because they're not really living for themselves they're only living for a certain lifestyle or to appear to be living a certain lifestyle you don't want to do that you want to keep your lifestyle clean by having a clean inside and outside environment so if you are if you feel that going to yoga every day and meditating like this is not your ideal of a clean lifestyle then don't do that so that's why i like that follow your intuition through life um suggestion that she did in her seminar i wish i can recommend i wish i can share it with you guys but i can't it's only for um iin health coaching students but i tell you it was the best speech i've ever heard and i love it so much and i still use that to this day one thing that i'm always getting asked is how do you save money on an organic lifestyle or a non-toxic lifestyle because it can be a little pricey when you start to look at living a more cleaner life my suggestion is to let go of the things that no longer serve you um, if you're going to go all out you might as well go all out make sure that you clean up everywhere I'm not saying that you can't have a glass of wine every now and then or maybe a drink every now and then um, but you do want to make sure that you're not doing that every single weekend so just taking away things like that as well as shopping all the time just things that really you don't need and you'll realize how much money you can save as well as going to the store and shopping from the bulk section if you go to my video which I'll put right here where I um, went and spent $25 at the grocery store for the week with all organic foods. So there's a lot of ways that you can kind of like maneuver around so you don't have to spend so much. But the sad reality of living a more non-toxic lifestyle is that you have to pay to live clean, which sucks. It really does. It's really horrible. I know, I know, I know. But most of the time, you do have to pay a little bit more if you want to take care of yourself. And I feel like it's worth it because at the end of the day, you feel better and you open yourself up to more non-toxic things. You'll start to run into more information, more people who are just like you, who are on the same journey as you. So as soon as you open yourself up to change and more beautiful living and just caring about yourself more, then it just, 
maybe your money will start to get bigger like your money starts to be, get longer because now your lifestyle starting to adjust to you i also get asked a lot what stores i shop at so mostly i shop at whole foods kroger um and rainbow blossom which is here in my hometown i think rainbow blossom is in other parts of the world as well but that store has all organic foods kroger is starting to have a very large section of organic foods so i like to shop there as well and i also love whole foods as well um whole foods is more of a pricey store but they are starting to lower their prices because they have collab with amazon also i do like trader joe's trader joe's has a lot of things that are good for you but does not break the bank if you are looking for a store that does not break the bank and they have good for you food go to trader joe's trader joe's is going to be your best bet that's like the cheapest store in my opinion it's even cheaper than kroger so as time goes on you'll start to notice that more and more stuff will start to come up you'll start to see that um a lot of things <laughs> a lot of things are not good for you and it's depressing at first because i remember when i first started i was like oh my god like i'm just gonna have to like fall off the face of the earth in order to be healthy but i feel that a lot of times we're hard on ourselves so i started to learn that i was a little hard on myself and i just needed to relax a little bit because no one's perfect and as long as you're trying that is the best that's the best thing like as long as you're trying if you are new to a lifestyle and you have no idea what's going on the best thing you can do is nourish yourself with information go and research and since we have like such readily available information there's no reason for you to be extremely lost don't get so down on yourself because no one can do everything all at once all at one time that is impossible and if you try to do it that way, then you're actually not living healthy because you're probably going to be stressed out. Or if you want to see more in-depth videos like, um, you know, like step by step by step by step healthy life lifestyle, <laughs> like this video and let me know that you enjoyed this type of content. And I will see you guys in my next video.